There is a man at the time of uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Just tell you his story. His name was Safi ibn Sayyad. His name was Safi, son of Sayyad. Tayyib, we'll tell you his story. This man, Safi ibn Sayyad, he lived at the time of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He was a young boy who was raised originally from a Jewish family, and he hated the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam immensely. He was grown to hate him a lot. And they used to say that this young boy, Safi ibn Sayyad, he was able to tell you what you're thinking. He had these certain abilities. And it's in the Sahih, so it's not something made up. And Rasul Sallallahu heard about him. And he wanted to go one day to find out whether he was really the Dajjal or not. He goes, Umar ibn al-Khattab was with him. And they were going towards the village where Safi ibn Sayyad was. And he was sitting down playing with something when his mother when a Rasul Sallallahu was trying to come Umar al-Khattab describes it says he's coming from tree to tree Rasul Sallallahu is hiding behind the trees trying to come closer to this boy to try and hear what he's saying he was saying some things he wanted to hear him what he says as Rasul Sallallahu approached Safi very closely he got very close and started to hear what he's saying suddenly the boy's mother saw the Prophet Sallallahu and she said Ya Safi Daka Muhammad Muhammad's there, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And Safi looked up and stopped talking. He started getting angry, <sighs> like that. He hated him, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, for no reason. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If only his mother didn't see me, I could have listened for a few more words, and I would have known whether he is the Dajjal or not." Because people were talking about him being the Dajjal himself, that he will rise from there and he will be the Dajjal. Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam said to the boy, he said, "Akhbatu laka shay'an." I hit something inside of my, my brain, inside of my, my chest, that I want you to try and figure out what it is. And the boy looked, and he frowned a bit, and he said, a duch, a duch. I can only get a duch, a duch. The Prophet ﷺ said, لا على قدرك. May your power never rise beyond that. And Rasul Sallallahu said to him, Do you believe that I am the messenger of God? He said, Only if you believe that I am the messenger of God. So he's a bit of a cocky dude. Isn't it? I'm the messenger of God. Prophet Sallallahu got up and left. Umar al Khattab asked him, What was that, a dukh? What did you hide inside of you? What was that, that word that you kept hidden? He said, I hid the word, a dukhan, a dukhan, which means the smoke. And he guessed half of it. This man, Safi, this boy, Safi Sayyid, grew up. And he lived in Medina. He actually embraced Islam. And he got married. And they say that he had something like 10 children. And, one, and, and the companions used to avoid him. Like they couldn't trust being around him. And one day, they're coming back for, they went to do Hajj. And they're coming back from Hajj. And on the way, a, a companion of the Prophet ﷺ was sitting next to him. Like, next to a shade under a tree resting and then Safi ibn Sayyid got his luggage up and sat next to this companion and the companion looked at him and he sort of didn't want him to be next to him and he said to him look there's lots of shade around you can go and sit somewhere else so he started to cry Safi ibn Sayyid cried he said to him why are, you, why are you crying he said about what everyone's saying about me that I'm the Dajjal and all of that stuff and he looked at him and said you should know of all people. This companion was an Ansari from Medina. You are very knowledgeable. You should know that a Dajjal is not a Muslim, and I'm a Muslim. He cannot get married, and I'm married. He cannot have children, and I have children. And he cannot enter Mecca or Medina, and here I am. The companion said, Wallah, he's right. You have a point. Then Safi ibn Sayyid said to him, But you know what? That name is quite nice. It's a cool name to call me a Dajjal with all those powers. I wouldn't mind if I was actually him. And the companion got up and said, please stay away from me. And he walked away from him. And while Safi Ibn Sayyid was laughing. So this man was a very strange mad person. You know? After the Prophet's death, there was the, uh, that great fight, that great war that happened with Musaylam al kadhab where uh, hundreds of memorizers of the Qur'an were murdered. And they looked 
Safi bin Sayyad was fighting with them and they looked for his body and they say we could never find him neither among the dead or the living. And all of his children died. And his wife died. And after that battle, they couldn't find him at all. He vanished. So, Allahu Alam, whether he was, Umar ibn al-Khattab used to say, I used to say in front of the Messenger وسلم, Wallahi, he is the Dajjal. And the Prophet wouldn't deny what I said, nor would he confirm. He'd just stay quiet. So the matter of, of, of the Dajjal is quite a very uh, peculiar and, and uh, confusing one until he actually arrives.